first attempt <laughs> at this video. I am so sidetracked today. I haven't made a video in a while, and it's evident today. I'm like I'm scatterbrained. This is ridiculous. Okay, so I'm making hot foot powder. If you follow me on Instagram, which is Crescent underscore Moon seventy eight. Then you've seen me, a little snippet here, a little snippet there. Well, I should have it all together today. And you would think, oh, well, I'm just going to grab this, 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 and this. Throw it in the thing and it'll be done. No, it does not work that way. Um, for starters, before I had a dehydrator, I used my oven. Which, I giggle because it is such a long process. It's unreal. But it works. And it works very efficiently. And I actually went back to my oven today because the stuff that I, the ginger that I dried in the oven a year ago, almost, well, not quite a year ago, it was September, did not, actually this is dried by Alex, my son made this. Anyway, it did not, it is dry, but you can't crush it up. And since this is going in my hot foot powder, I need to be able to crush it up right so the result of it being dried in the oven the first round is you can break it apart but it doesn't crush well in my mortar and pestle so what I did and I have another thing that went in there with it as well um, the chili powders chili peppers I put them I broke them up Put them on a small plate, and this is the the chili powder. So I'm talking about the little finger, they're medium finger finger chilies, and even though they're medium, like it it, it burns the nostrils, it it itches the back of the throat. But um, I took these, broke them apart, put them on the little small serving plates, you know, not your big plates, but your little plates. I put those on there with some of this ginger, and put it in there for two days. Uh, the first round was at 250 for an hour ish and then this the last night was for at, or at 200 for about an hour ish with the door propped open a little bit so the end result of that was I was able to it turned a little darker which is fine I mean it's going in powder form um, but it's like these little fibers even when you brown it to where it's crushable and powdery you still have some little fibers in there because it's, it's just the way it is, which is fine. And I love the way it smells. So I've got that and then the result of the chili powder. Now this is the one I posted on Instagram. So what you do is you roast your chili pe peppers. Chili peppers. I cannot say this shit today. And let me grab a piece that's bigger. So I roasted them with the garlic, right? Put them in the mortar and pestle uh, afterwards after it cooled off. And it turns your already kind of dark red peppers into nearly black, which is fine. Because you're not really using this part of it anyway. You're aiming for the fine powder on the inside. So, what I did was I poured those into my mortar pestle, chopped them up real good. Got my handy dandy little strainer doodad out. Poured them in there, whacked it with a spoon, whacked it on the sides. And the result of that is this very fine peppery powder so that's that so I've got that going and it gets up your nose really easy all right so we've got the ginger I've got the chilies I also used red pepper flakes and my black salt which already has chili pepper sea salt charcoal obviously uh, and black pepper in it and then I have regular black pepper now this doesn't go in my kitchen this is just for in here so I've got all those going well my little bottle is not very big and this is already everything but the I have not put the ginger in here yet this is the only thing missing but it's got sulfur it's got and the other ingredients so ginger Chili pe peppers, chili powder, a little bit of graveyard dirt, a little bit of brick dust, black pepper, black salt, 
and sulfur. I feel like I've mentioned sulfur like three times in a row. And that is my hot foot powder. I am not using this on anybody local. I'm not using this on anybody in particular. This is something that I need. And the reason why I stressed local is because, you know, a lot of times when you're doing stuff like this, it is for somebody that you can get in contact with and put it in their way so they can walk across it, right? Well, I am using it for that purpose, but I'm not using it for that purpose. Let's just leave it there, unless you truly want to know. And then I can give you not exactly the details, but the the what's of, of what I'm doing. Not, not the who's, the why's, or whatever's, but like how I am specifically going to use it. If you want to know. If not, that's cool too. But... That being said, that is what I'm doing today. And that freaking took, like, the ginger is ridiculous. Because it, it, that is mainly what took two rounds. The peppers, they dried out real quick because they were already dry. And the ginger was already dry too, but it's thicker. So, I spilled some stuff on my binder, which is the next video coming out. Um, I was talking to Madam Nightshade, and I sent her a picture of what I was doing. And she was like, I've never seen that done before. And I th think I have, but not like in a video. I think I've just like noticed it. I could be wrong. I don't want I don't watch a lot of YouTube witches, so I could be wrong. Or it, it might be the fact that I have it categorized differently, color coded. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna do a video. And then we'll see. So that's next. And then me and Madam Nightshade are starting our Sunday series again. And, well, we're going to try this series. Um, it's going to be... Uh, I'm trying to think of how to word it. We haven't come up with, like, a name yet. So, but... Science and Magic. Like, the whys behind what we do. So... I think it'll, I think some of you will find that interesting. I hope you do. We are doing our research, which is why it takes so long to get, you know, to get the video put out. But I think it, I think it's interesting. She thinks it's interesting. And I, I mean, there are a lot of us in our community that are, I don't know the word for it, the phrase, like, not show me to me, prove it to me people, but, like, they want to back up with scientific fact that this is, this is why we're drawn to use this. This is why this has been used for this purpose for so long. Or the fact that somebody took something that we've been using and, like, broke it down. Hey, you know, there's a reason why we use this, this, and this, because it works like this, this, and this, you know. And not that it's something that we need because you believe in what you believe. If you are, if your spirituality tells you that, you know, you need to have this crystal for this or this herb for that, then, you know, that's, that's you. And that's fine. I am not a judgmental person. I mean, we're all judgmental people, but it is not my place to judge your practice. Um, what you have faith in is your deal. Just like what I have faith in is mine. And, but to break some stuff down that are kind of common uses, I think is very interesting. And give you a little knowledge behind it. And we're checking our facts and we will cite our facts and our sources if need be, if anybody has trouble or wants to be an ass, whatever. You know, I mean, most of the time when we talk, we're like, oh, well, according to blah, blah, blah then, you know, this is where, and we'll tell you without having to, like, write it down. But if you want it written down, we can write it down, too. It's fine, you know. Um, and if you have any suggested things that you would like to know, it's kind of like the witches. How was this made? Or how, how was that show's name? How stuff works? I think it'd be interesting. Um, and my son, he, he is a chemical. Um, that did make sense. I mean, it did, but it didn't. My oldest son is into alchemy. Not into alchemy, like, I mean, like, that he is an alchemist. So, 
he has a different take on things. Not a different take, but he relates more to the scientific side than we do as witches. And I, I find that fascinating as well. Anyway, we'll get into all that later. I have another video to do, so I will see y'all in the next one. And y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.